Hi guys, welcome back to channel 42. It's like, um, welcome back to the circus. Uh, today I wanted to play around with the pigment I had bought. I had gotten this NYX pigment in gunmetal, and it got me thinking about doing like a almost like a navy blue, gunmetal, gray, silver. Turquoisey, not turquoisey. That didn't make sense. Um, I tried the Maybelline. I don't know what these are called. Uh, Super Stay Matte Inks, and I tried it in heroin. I absolutely adore this color. Um, this is my first time trying it. It was incredibly sticky, and it keeps getting on my teeth. Um, but I feel like if I try to wipe this off right now, it's just gonna really. Uh, take this look to the next level and I don't feel like being on said level so I apologize um, I will say though as I'm like as it's been longer it's drying down I'm still getting all over my teeth so I don't know I really like this color it's drying down which helps but it I don't know if it keeps getting on my teeth I'm not gonna like it but we will see um, back to this look as you can see it's pretty dark gray gunmetal smoky eye yeah, it came out um, pretty well. I didn't use too many shadows. Uh, this is great for like a night out, um, date night, Walgreens, Target, you know, real simple. But if you would like to um, see how I got this, then you should probably just keep watching. But I hope you guys enjoy and um, I don't know. I'll see you when the circus comes back to town. And my eyebrows are all ritzy on, and my face is breaking out. So I am concealing my eyelids with the Shape Tape Tarte Concealer. I'm using that as an eye uh, lid primer. Blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. Then going with the NYX Gunmetal Pigment on the e.l.f. Flat Definer Brush. I'm just going to put this all over just the lid, up to the crease, but not in the crease. I really like this silvery, smoky pigment. It's how I got this look. And I did not set that eye shot, that eye base, because I wanted the pigment to stick to it. And then I'm just going with the Morphe MB23, and I'm going to take the Morphe 35K palette. I'm going to take that lightest gray shade that's matte that I always seem to go in when I'm doing some cool tone eyes and I'm just gonna be smoothing that into the crease buffing it out making a transition then I'm just using a clean Amazon brush and then I'm gonna take go in with like it's like a light almost bone color and I'm just gonna kind of use that to clean up and do more of a transition since I didn't go in with my normal brown transition colors then a clean Morphe brush. Nope, more product on it. I'm just going to go back in and blend those together. When in doubt, and I'm not sure, I just keep blending colors together. Then I'm taking my Eco Tools. It's like a flat pigment brush, and I'm going with that darker gray color. And I'm going to start doing the outer corners and the inner corner of my eye since we're doing a halo-like smoky eye. I'm just going to be patting that darker. It's like a gray, navy blue almost patting on the inner outer corner and then kind of swiping it in to the center and then I will swoosh over the top without going into the middle of the eyelid I want to keep that for the lighter pop colors and then again no more pigment on that brush and just gonna clean it all together blend in blend in blend in then I'm gonna go back in with those dark colors again start off with a light hand and then I will darken up that outer V and the inner eye no more pigment blending it out we will always do this <laughs> going back in with that lighter like bone color with that Amazon brush taking the point of it because it's kind of like has a point on the end of it I'm just blending that point into the crease to get that bone color because I think I thought it was a little dark. Dark colors that make me nervy. And then that MB23, no product, swiping it in. 
clean it up. Going back in with that, the NYX pigment. I'm going to be popping that again into the center with the e.l.f. definer brush. I think I wanted to make sure we didn't lose that pigment. And then I'm going to go in with that lighter. It almost seems like a light blue silver. And I'm going to take some Fix Plus, MAC Fix Plus, on that e.l.f. definer brush, the Do It All brush. And I'm popping that right over that pigment, that next pigment in the center of my eyes. I want that center really to start popping out. You can see it's like a light blue silver. Kind of smudging that into the darker shades, but not going too deep into them. Then I'm going to take that, the, again, that dark shade that we've been going in with on the outer edge, and I will just go back in since we've added that lighter color. You will see me starting to etch out that V at the corner of my eye a little bit with that darker edge. That's why I like this brush too. And then sweeping that back into the um, lighter color you put in the middle to make a gradient transition so they blend together well. Same thing in the inner corner. And I will swoop it over the top. Back in with that lighter pigment shade, the icy blue silver, making sure we don't lose it and it's centered right above my pupil. Then I'm going to go in with Tinsel from the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. This is a very silver glitter shade, and i just popping that over top so it really stands out. This is not really necessary, but, you know, sometimes we're extra. And by sometimes, I mean a lot of the time. And you can see it really pops out that center. And then I'm going in with the, it's pretty much a black shade in that um, 35K palette. Taking another Eco Tools brush, this isn't as flat as the brush I went in with that dark gray. It's more rounded, but I'm just pushing this into that outer V because I wanted to darken it up. And then swooshing it into our uh, silver color. Just to darken the V, darken the smoke. And in the inner corner as well, patting it down and then blending it ever so slightly into the silver. Try not to use too much of a heavy hand there. You can just go back in and then you won't mess up. Then I am taking that Morphe 23, no product on it, and blending those colors together since we added a couple darker shades. Blending it more into the crease than anything. Taking Wet n Wild Makeup Wipe, and this is where we'll clean up that fallout you see on my cheek, as well as really cut the uh, eye look, creating that, that V that's makes it nice and clean. Going with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Love this primer as always. Getting that into my primed areas. Going in with the Milani foundation as well with the L'Oreal Pro Matte. Love this combo. Actually just started using it. Just on a flat top Amazon Kabuki brush. But we're pushing all of that in. I'm using the shade 04 in the Milani and 103 in the L'Oreal Pro Matte. One's a little darker, one's a little lighter, so they work with my skin tone. I'm going with the Milani Erase and Retouch Oh, Concealer. This is in the lightest shade 01. And I added a little bit heavier of a hand than I normally would have, and I'm not sure why, because I'm going to go in with the Illuminati Wet n Wild Highlighter. This is a great brightening one, not so much concealing. I'm just going to go over some of the light points of my face and add that to my under eyes to brighten it up, even though that Milani is a pretty bright um, concealer. This was another good combination. The Beauty Blender and some MAC Fix Plus, dampening it, and then we are going to, we're going to blend it, I mean get more, and we dropped it again, I seem to be doing that. <laughs> we're going to blend out all of those areas with our Real Techniques sponge, added a little bit too much because I have to keep going in with it. Then I'm going to use the MAC Pro Emphasize and my e.l.f. I think it's an eyeshadow brush. This is one I always use for my under eyes. This um, MAC Pro Emphasize really brightens your under eyes, so I like it because it covers my dark circles. And I'll set those other areas with it as well. 
Then I'm going to go in with Los Cabos. It's a Sephora bronzer. I'm using this to contour, though I love this contour shade. That's with my Real Techniques sculpting brush. As you can see, patting it down, swishing it back and forth in that cheekbone area, brushing it up a little bit. You never want to go down, always up. And again, just following the line of my cheekbones, pushing it in, brushing it up a little bit, and blending it out. And then again, into my hairline, I'm also adding contour shade where I want to darken compared to where I wanted to lighten with the concealer. And then the real technique is the blush brush. And with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I'm sadly hitting pan on, I'm just going to go over that contour and kind of like blush it out, brush it out. Um, the butter bronzer isn't too dark, so it kind of sets that contour, as well as just adding some warmth to the face. And again, into the hairline as well, anywhere you put the contour. Then I'm going in, this is a Morphe brush, I forget the name. I'm using this to contour my nose a little bit. This is a, sometimes I contour my nose, sometimes I don't. This is a great brush for it because it's a very thin line. And I'm just cutting the sides of my nose and the tip. I'm using the same contour brush, that Real Technique Sculpting, and I'm rubbing out that harsh lines I put on my nose. Contour went too far down on the nose. I'm just taking my uh, the sponge with the MAC Pro Emphasize and putting it in. So my lashes are on. These are the uh, Little Black Dress by Kiss. I really like these as well. And then I'm putting more Pro Emphasize under my eyes to brighten it up. And I'm going in with that Morphe 35K. That, like, this one's more of a blue shade, and I'm just going to tight line my lower lash line with that e.l.f. It's a pencil brush. Then I'm taking the, that's Essence Lash Princess on my lower lid. And then I'm going into that 35K to get that light white shade as my brow bone highlight with my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. I will also take that into my inner corner, and this is with that e.l.f. like lipstick brush. I wish they had names. Then my Wet n Wild brush in Mellow Wine on my E4. Oh, oh no, I forgot to take my bake away. Big Fluffy to the rescue. Take out that bake that I have packed on probably too heavily. Back to my blush, and that's the, um, the Balm, the Mary Luminizer with my Eco Tools. This is a great, this is a pretty white highlight. So this is good for this gunmetal look. Then I'm going with the Maybelline uh, Matte Ink. I just bought this. I was pretty excited about it. It's in the color Heroin. I really love the color, but app not even applicate. The applicator is pretty nice too, but I'm struggling with the formula a little bit. It was really sticky and ended up getting all over my teeth. Um, as more time went on, it dried down, but I was pretty annoyed there for a second. So I'm still not sure. I haven't given up faith, but I've lost some. <laughs> And then um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Douse my face. And then Dance Party. Because there was a acapella song. And it was got me feeling some type of ways. Alright guys, thanks.